Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for this service today. Baba, we thank you because of your word that is plain and clear. We bless your name because you have not left us in darkness. You have shown us what you require from us in this world. So we can be fully prepared before we see you face to face up above. And so that we'll be able to get ready to escape the judgment that is coming upon the world. You have told us it is not your will that any should perish. But that all shall come to life eternal. We come to you today wanting to hear from you. Asking that your spirit will make your word clear, plain, convicting, challenging to every one of us in Jesus' name. We also asking that you will give us the grace to follow you and to fully obey you in every detail of the word you reveal to us in Jesus' name. We asking that you will help us so that there will be no distraction for any of us as we hear your word now. That our thoughts, our mind, our eyes, our body will be completely under your control. So that we'll not miss anything you want to tell us. And so we'll be fully prepared whenever the trumpet will sound. We bless your name because we know you have answered us. In Jesus' name we pray. We're grateful to the Lord for giving us yet another opportunity to gather before Him and to listen to His word. Every day we have to spend here on earth is a new, fresh opportunity for us to prepare to meet the Lord up in the sky. And as we see the end of the world approaching, the most important thing for everyone is to find out, is to check out in his own life whether he is fully ready for the coming of the Lord. And every time we have the opportunity of gathering together, the climax, the greatest thing in our fellowship, in our gathering together, is to open the pages of the Bible and see what God demands of our lives. And today we're looking at one of the most essential things that every child of God must check up is in his own spiritual life and spiritual profession if we really want to see the face of the Lord face to face in peace. And in our checklist of preparing to meet our Lord, this should not be number five, number ten, or number twenty. In all the things we're acquiring or preparing to have in our lives, it should come to the very first position in our lives. As we look at the things that compose all our interest, this one we're talking about should be number one in the interest and desire, in the ambition, in the aspiration of a child of God. Since we came to Christ and since we came to the church, as we are counting our blessings, as we are counting that I possess this, I possess this, this is what he has given to me, this should be number one of the possessions of a child of God. 
ati lati gba ti a ti darapo pelu ijo olorun o nti o gbodo je akole kan wa julo bi ati nkan won bukun wa lokokan ti an siro won bi o ti se tin tun mi mi o ti fun mi ni ton o ti fi bukun yi sinu aye mi o nti gbodo ju won akoko ninu gbogbo awon nkan won yi ni o nti afe soro lori loni yi as we know that the devil is going up and down to and fro to steal and to kill and to destroy and to take things belonging to the children of God away from them this should be number one thing that we hold on to that we embrace that we keep that the devil whatever he does from whichever direction he comes will not be able to take this number one important essential significant thing away from us bi asi tun se mo daju wi pe o le ki wa bi ko se lati jale ati lati pa ati lati parun ati pelu pe isu ota wa o lo kaakiri o wa eni ti yo pa je kiri o n yo wu ti esu le fe gbiyanju lati gba o n ti a gbodo jaka di gidi gidi fun lati ri pe apamo lati ri pe isu ko ri gba lowo wa o ni o yi asi gbodo lakaka gidi gidi lati ri pe o yo wu tode a ko je ki ota ki o gba nkan yi lowo wa and we talking about god's demand for holiness o n ti a si n soro ni lori na ni iwa mimo ti olorun bere god's demand for holiness iwa mimo ti olorun bere There are many circles, religious circles, where they do not think very much. They do not talk very much. They do not teach very much. They do not pray very much on holiness. Oko lo kwa go tabi a kwe joko tabi a wele ya me ya ni oje kwe waki soro kuko waki badura kuko waki piki ta kuko ni pa iwa mimo. There are many denominations and churches that do not put at the very center of their tenets of faith, at the very center of what they believe. Holiness as required as demanded by God himself. Opolopo awon ijo ati ile isin ati eleya meya ni o wa loni ti o je wi pe won ki bi kita nipa ohun yi ti o je ohun akoko eyi ni wa mi mo ti Olorun bere ti o je pe ko si ninu idige ko won tabi awon eko ti won gbagbo. There are many groups, there are many ministries, there are many people that call themselves by the name of, of the name Christ and yet they do not put holiness as the number one thing, as the most essential thing that they ought to pray for. They ought to dig into the word of God for they ought to tarry on their knees for and they ought to look up to heaven for until they possess until holiness saturates them within and without opolopo awon legbejegbe ati eleya meya ati ile isin ati awon apejopo ni o je pe loni won ki pikita nipa iwa mi mo ti olorun bere yi ko si ninu akole kan won won ki gbadura gidigidi won ki duro tiri waje oluwa lati pe emi ki yo je ki won ki o lo bi o si pe babu ko fun mi won ki na ni iwa mi mo yi ti o se pataki jilo ti o si je pe o wa ni ipo apoko ninu aye oni gbagbo there are even some old people very aged grey haired and they are in the church and they are very near the grave they are very near the calling of the lord to leave this world and go to the world beyond and yet they do not know that as we are getting nearer and nearer the grave as we are getting nearer and nearer the call of god to leave this world and move on to the up yonder they do not know that the number one the most essential thing is to make sure that of all the things they have got of all the things they testify to of all the things they possess holiness must be number one awon mi na ti re ton wa ti o je pe o wa ninu ijo ti won si ti dagba gidigidi ti won ti di arugo ti won ti he ti won ti lewu lori ti o je pe ni gba ku gba ni olorun le pe won lati fi aye yi sile lati wa si aye raye ti o si je pe won won yi bi won ti nsun mesare won to lojojumo won ko bi kita won ko si nani won ko si ko bi ara si iwa mimo yi ti o ye ki o je won akoko nitori eyi ni o ti o ga julo ti olorun bere there are sick people almost at the point of death that they are so sick that people are looking at them they themselves are even observing that it is possible that any time from now this sickness they have may be the last sickness that will visit them and call them up yonder and yet they will not make sure that on that bed of affliction on that bed of sickness as they see that this may be the very sickness that will project them into the great beyond they do not see that holiness will be the essential important thing that they will make sure they possess should they call come upon them any time that they will be able to go without any hindrance awon mi ran ti le ton wa ti won je ala isan ti o si je gba isan ti o nse won a isan gbe mi gbe mi ni won si ti wa ni enu ona oku ese kan aye ese kan orun sugbon si be bi won ti wa ni enu ona iku to yi ti won si ri pe o se ki o je gba isan yi ni yo ran won lo si orun ti o si fi opin si gbogbo inira ti o wa ninu aye won ninu aye yi won ko bikita nipa iwa mi mo won ko bikita nipa ododo olorun won ko ka si won ko gbadura lati ri pe bi o ba ti le je pe isan yi ni o mu iku wa pe won le di odo olorun ni ke there are young people 
that have just what? come to the Lord. And as they are young and they have just come to the Lord, and they are not building the foundation of their Christian life, they do not know that if the foundation of the Christian life is going to be strong, and it's going to be able to take the weight of your Christian life later in life, the number one thing that must be in that foundation of your Christian experience is holiness unto the Lord. I pray that as you listen to this word and you will read it yourself in the Bible and you will see it and the Spirit of God himself will tell you that this is God's demand upon the children of God. I pray that nothing will distract your attention. You will pay attention and you will pray. And if you do not already have it in your life, I pray that this day will be that great day when you go on your knees before the Lord and you will possess it in Jesus' name. And this morning, under the topic, I'm going to give you three subheadings. Number one, God's command on holiness. It is not man's command, God's command on holiness. It is not the command of the church or the command of the denomination, God's command on holiness. Number two, inward and outward holiness. Not only outward, inward and outward holiness. Not only inward and nobody can see it, no neighbor can witness to it, nobody can say that I've seen it there, I've seen it there. Inward and outward holiness. Number three, requirement for entry into heaven. If there is anywhere we should endeavor to enter, it should be heaven. If there is any ambition in the heart of a child of God, it will be after all the activities of this world, after the activities are over, will be able to get to heaven. And if there is any desire, any hope of the believer why we're serving God, why we're coming to church, why we're working for God, why we remain committed unto the Lord here on earth, it is because on that last day we'll be able to sit with the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And this is the requirement for entry into heaven. Point one, God's command on holiness. In First Peter chapter one verse fourteen. First Peter chapter one verse fourteen. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to your former lusts in your ignorance. But I see which has called you is holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Here very clearly the Lord is talking to his own family members. He's talking to the people that are named children of God. He tells us that these people have a new life 
and the art in the past a former life. On so we pay our way over ye, Mrs. Yuani, where you are told to go tell a one year, where you go to go. He said the former life was in the lusts of the flesh. Only if we are here, go to go to the other one. He said the former life was in ignorance. Only if we are here at the judge, if we are here, before a person becomes born again, can you tell the other one? He is a sinner. Because the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That sinner is ignorant of God. He is ignorant of the will and the word of God. He is ignorant of the steps he ought to be taking in life. He is ignorant of the kind of behavior and conduct that will make God happy. He is ignorant of the rule and regulation that heaven has given to earth so that we can live happy lives. He lives his life in the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life and the inordinate affection of the body. And therefore, at such a time, the sinner is disobedient unto God. Because of his ignorance, he is also disobedient. Because of his ignorance, he is rebellious. But then, he hears the gospel. That Jesus went to die for us on the cross of Calvary. And whosoever believeth in him, in him will not perish, but have everlasting. In life. And the Spirit of God begins to convict him of all his ways of sin, ways of disobedience, and ways of ignorance. He begins to tremble when he hears the word of God. And his heart begins to bleed because of the sins he has committed. He begins to plead for forgiveness. That God will forgive him and give him the grace to sin no more. God looks at his repentance. Looks at his penitence. Looks at his sorrow for sin. He looks at the promises he's making unto God. Saying, Oh God, if you forgive me, I will not go back to my vomit again. He looks at the way he's needed kneeling down saying oh god forgive me change my life give me peace i want to be at peace with you and then he looks at the cross he looks at what christ has done for him he looks at the pleading the intercession of the holy ghost concerning him he looks at his own plan of redemption concerning him because of this he forgives that sin he blots out all his transgression. Heaven begins to rejoice that somebody has been born anew into the kingdom of God. He himself feels the load of his sin carried away. He's not full of the joy of salvation. And now he has peace with God and he has peace to continue in relationship with God. He now becomes a child of God. Ignorance is now of the past. Darkness is now of the past. Lost of the flesh is now of the past. Immediately becomes a member of the family of God. God now talks to him. And he says, as obedient children. Be a one a lady that the thing that will characterize your life now as a child of God is obedience to the word of the heavenly Father. Not fashioning yourselves according to the former lost in your ignorance. 
ki e ma se fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin when you are ignorant you worshiped idols but now as obedient children not passioning yourself according to your former lusts in your ignorance nigbati o wa ni ope ti o je ope sibe o n borisa sugbon ni sisin gege bi omo ile ti omo ki o ma se ma fi ara re dasha ninu ife atijo mo when you are ignorant you will call the name of the lord in vain but now as obedient children not passioning yourself according to your former ignorance in your uh, your former lusts in your ignorance nigbati o wa ninu ipo ope tabi alai mo kan o ma n ko oruko oluwa laso nigba na sugbon ni sisin yi ti o ti di omo olorun lai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin when you are ignorant that we are to worship God fellowship with God pray unto God read the word of God commit ourselves unto God when you are ignorant of that you never remember there was any day of the Lord to keep holy and to honor the name of the Lord on that day but now he says as obedient children not passioning yourselves anymore according to your former laws in your ignorance nigba ti o je alai mo tabi ti o wa ni ipo pe nigba na o ki mo bi ati nsin oluwa o ki mo ni pa pataki idapo o ki mo ni pa pe ki akabiwele tabi pe ki agbadura o ki mo ni pa wi wa si ile olorun ni ojo oluwa o ki ran ti ojo oluwa rara sugbon nisisin yi ti o ti di omo olorun o ni bi awon ile ti omo ni ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin when you were ignorant you never respected your parents you never honored your parents some of you will even slap your parents some of you will fight with your parents or even destroy things belonging to your parents now you says you are born again as obedient children not passioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance ki e to di atun bi nigba ti e wa ninu ope o mi ran ninu oyin le ma won le sha lai bola fun awon obi won won le ma ba awon obi won ja won le ma ba eru tabi oyin ni awon obi won je ki o si ma pa wahala tabi ijogbon sugbon ni sisin yi o ni ti e ti di atun bi li ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin when you are a sinner you stole every time everything from anybody from everybody that was careless but now he says you know the truth now you are a child of god as obedient children not passioning yourselves according to the former laws in your ignorance nigbati o wa ninu okunkun gege bi elese o njale eni keni ti o ba ri eru re ni le tabi onko ni le ni o le ji sugbon ni sisin yi ti o ti wa di atun bi o ni bi awon ile ti omo ni ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin in the day of ignorance it was the time for adultery it, it was the time for fornication it was the time for immorality but now you say that time you are in darkness you are ignorant now that you know the truth now that you say you become a child of god that you will not commit fornication adultery anymore as obedient children not passioning yourselves according to your former laws in your ignorance ni awon je won ni ti o wa ninu okunkun si be ti o ko ti di eni igbala nigba na ife ku fe panshaga agbere ati orisirisi wa ri gbogbo ni okun igbaye re sugbon ni sisin yo wa pe ni won gba ti o ti di atun bi bi awon ile ti omo ni ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin before you knew the lord when you were ignorant of the demands of god when you were ignorant of the character the conduct god expects from us you were covetous of what belongs to your neighbor you were covetous of what be of whatever you saw your heart will be running after but now he says covetousness should not be in your life anymore as obedient children not passioning yourselves according to the former laws in your ignorance nigba ti o je ope si be si oluwa ti o ko mo oluwa tabi ti o wa ninu okunkun nigba na oju kokoro ati wi won ti elomiran ni on ti okunu okan re kan to be ge to je pe okun ti o ba ti ri bayi oju re ma nwo sugbon ni sisin yi o ni ni won gba ti o ti di atun bi bi awon ile ti omo ni ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin bearing false witness was your lifestyle gossiping was your lifestyle lying deception was your lifestyle saying things that are not right about yourself things that are not true about yourself and about other people was your major lifestyle you will bear false witness because you were ignorant you didn't know the expectation of god and you didn't know that you should not be rebellious and disobedient unto the lord but now you say you are born again your sins are forgiven you met the lord jesus christ you tasted of the power of the world to come and calvary has crushed out sin in your life now there should be a difference as obedient children not passioning yourselves according to the former laws sin your ignorance nigbati o wa ninu okunkun si be ti o wa ninu aimo kan ti o si je ope ti o ko mo ti olorun bere ati iru igbe aye ti olorun fe ki a ma gbe ti o wa ninu ese o ni nigba na o le je ri eke o le paro 
on ti ki se tire o le wi pe tire ni o le paro ni para re o si le paro ma won elu miran pelu o npo on ti o ba wo ni o le se lati ton ni je tabi lati wu e ton ni gba na sugbo wa wi pe ni gba ni o wa ninu oku sugbo ni sisin yi iya to gbodo wa nitori o ti di omo olorun o si wa wi pe ni sisin ti o ti di omo olorun bi awon ile ti omo ni ai pe ara yin dasha bi pe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin said when you were still a sinner hypocrisy was the mark of your life but now if you are born again it says as obedient children you will not passion yourselves according to the former laws in your ignorance hypocrisy will be rubbed out pretense will be cleansed out of your life you'll be plain you'll be clear you'll be frank you'll be open now that you are a child of god ki o to di atun bi iwa agabagebe idibo ati bi pare ni pe ni ti eyan ko je ni o kunu aye re kan ni gba na sugbo wa wi pe nisisin yi ti o ti di omo olorun iya to gbodo wa o nko ti o ni se pelu agabagebe tabi jije eni ti o fi ara re pe eni ti ko je gbodo kuro idibe gbodo kuro bi awon ile ti omo ni ai fi ara yin dasha bi fe ku fi atijo ninu aimo yin eyi ni pe o gbodo ma so kodoro ki o si ma so ojo abe niko ni gbagogo in verse 15 ni ese ike edogo but i see which has called you is holy so be ye holy in all manner of conversation sugbon gege bi eni ti o pe yin ti je mimo be ni ki eyin na si je mimo ninu iwa yin gogo it says now that you are a child of god look at god look at his holiness and pattern your life after the holiness of god oni nisisin yi ti o wi pe o ti di omo olorun wo olorun ki o si wo iwa olorun ki o si fi se awo ko se don't say some people in the church are doing this therefore i can do it look at god look at the holiness of god and pattern your life after the holiness of god ma se wi pe awon kan wa ninu ijo ti won se tin tabi ton oni wo olorun wo iwa mimo olorun ki o si fi se awo ko se don't say i read about some people in the bible who said they were following after god they said they were israelites and they were disobeying god they said don't look at them Look at God who has called you. Look at his holiness and pattern your life after the holiness of God. Only ma se wi pe o ti ka nipa awon kan ninu bibeli awon mo Israel to wi pe won gboran si Olorun sugbon ni opolopo akoko ti won kun ti won short e. Only ma se wu awon won yi sugbon wu Olorun wo iwa mimo re ki o si fi se awu ko se. I see which has called you is holy. Be eni ti o pe yin ti je mimo so be ye holy. Be eni ki eyin na si je mimo in all manner of conversation. Ninu iwa yin gogo in all your dealings with everybody everywhere. Ninu iba se po re pelu eniyan gogo ni bi gogo in all your character your conduct the manifestation of the grace of God in you anywhere you may be so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Ninu iwa re gogo ninu ise re gogo ninu iba se po re gogo ninu ori ofe Olorun ti on jade ninu aye re ni bi gogo ni gbagogo je mimo ninu iwa yin gogo because it is written be ye holy for i am holy nitori ati ko pe e je mimo nitori ti emi je mimo you will see that very clearly holiness is commanded by god ni o ri pe won kedere pe olorun ni o pase pe ki a je mimo he doesn't leave it in the hands of the church whether to believe in holiness or not to believe in holiness it is mandatory it is compulsory that anyone that is called by the name of god will be holy because god himself is holy ko fi sile si owo ijo wi pe ki won yan boya won fe lati je mimo tabi won ko fe sugbon oran yan ni o si je ohun ai gbodo ma se o di dandan folukluku eni ti a ba koru ko luwa mo lati je mimo ni tori pe olorun je mimo leviticus chapter 11 from verse 44 leviticus ori kokan la lati ese ikerin le ni ogoji for i am the lord your god ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves and ye shall be holy for i am holy neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth nitori pe emi ni oluwa olorun yin nitori na ni ki eyin ki o yara yin si mimo ki eyin ki o si je mimo nitori pe mimo ni emi be ni eyin ko gbodo fi ohun ko ohun tin ra ko so ara yin de leeri moses was a leader over the children of israel moses je adari lori awon omo israel but this word that he spoke to the children of israel was not his own word it was the very word of god sugbon oro won yi ti o ba israel so ni yiki si oro ti ara re oro olorun alaye fun ra re ni it says in that verse part if for for i am the lord your god ni ese ikerin le logoji yi o ni emi ni oluwa olorun yin God will never encourage anybody to commit sin. 
Olorun ko ni si oni gbowo tabi be enikan ni niyanju lati dese God will never tolerate anybody committing sin Olorun ko ni gbe enikan ni laaye lati ma dese God will never push anybody or inspire anybody or influence anybody to go and commit sin Olorun ko ni ti enikan ni leyin ko ni ru enikan ni soke be ni ko ni je o eni ti o mu enikan ni lokan le lati lo ma dese God will never excuse anybody for committing sin Olorun ko si ni yo de enikan ni ki o da si ni pe o dese holiness is the standard of the word of god iwa mi mo je osun ati agbe kale oro olorun whether the person is a preacher or just a member in the church holiness is the demand of god yala eni na je oni wa osun ninu ijo ni tabi o je omo ojo iwa mi mo je ohun ti olorun bere lowo gbogbo eniyan he said ye shall be holy for i am holy oni ki eyin ki o si je mimo nitori mimo ni emi then in that verse 44 it says ye shall not defile your Cells with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon there. Ni ese ikan ni le logoji yi si be. Oni be ni enyi ko gbodo fi o npo un tin ra ko so ara yin de le ri. Remember that God created everything in the world. Ran ti pe Olorun ni o da ohun gogo lori ile aye. He created the creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. Oni o da gogo awon ohun ti o ra ko lori ile aye. But he had a purpose for creating them. Sugbon ni ete pato ti o fi da won. It was not for the children of Israel to defile themselves with these things and say after all God has created them He se pe ki awon omo Israel ki o le ma fi so ara won de le ri pe a a se bo Olorun lo kuku da won God has created many things that we use today Opolopo nkan ti an lo loni ni Olorun da He created iron Olorun ni o da irin but he did not create iron for us to make gun and shoot our enemy and kill our enemy Sugbon Olorun ko da irin pe ki a le fi ro ibo ki a le fi ma pa awon awon ta wa ki a le ma gbe bo fun awon ta wa the one that made all the trees in the world O ni o da gbogbo igi ti o wa ninu aye but he did not make the trees for us to make idols of them and begin to worship them Sugbon ko da awon igi yi tori pe ki a le ma gbe ere jade lati ninu awon igi won yi wa ki a si ma pori bale fun awon ere na He created gold O ni o da wura but he didn't create gold so that i will use it for my pride sugbon ko da wura kin ba le ma lo fun igberaga mi he created all the plants oni o da gbogbo igi gbogbo pako but he did not create the plants so that i will make tobacco out of them and begin to smoke o gbogbo awon ewe ko ti o si da yi ko da papa julo fun bi fun apere taba ko da kin ba le ma fi se siga kin ma pa sori he created all the fruit bearing trees oni o si da gbogbo igi eleso but he didn't create all those fruit bearing trees so that i can make alcohol out of them and get drunk boko da awon ige leso won yi kin ba le ma da emu lori won kin si bere si memu go told the children of Israel said oh yes i've created those things but do not defile yourself with those things that i have made olorun ni o da gbogbo nkan won yi sugbon olorun so fun omo israel ri pe e ma se fi okan ninu awon ti mo ti da yi so ara yin de le ri it doesn't create all those things that people will make pills out of them and then be able to commit abortion with them olorun ko da awon nkan won yi ki awon e ba le ma fi sogun ki won si se ma ba oyun je neither shall you defile yourself with any of these things that God has made be ni eyin ko gbodo so ara yin de le ri lati ninu okan kan ninu awon ti olorun ti da won yi in verse 45 yes i carry the la daughter i am the lord that bringeth you out of the land of egypt to be your god ye shall therefore be holy for i am holy nitori pe emi ni oluwa ti o mu yin goke ti ile egypt wa lati ma se olorun yin nitori na ki eyin ki o je mimo nitori pe mimo ni emi in deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 9 ninu ewe deuteronomy ori ketale logo ese ikeso when thou goest forth against thine enemies then keep thee from every wicked thing nigbati iwo ba jade ogun si awon ota re nigba na ni ki iwo ki o para re mo kuro ninu on buburu gogo the lord was talking to the children of israel awon mo israel ni oluwa nba soro and the lord is talking to you and to me today be ni o si nba iwo ati emi soro loni he was telling them that there will be times in their lives when enemies will rise up against them o n so fun o wi pe akoko kan yo de ninu aye won ti awon ota yo dide ogun si won but even at that time when the enemies are rising up against them they must keep away from every wicked thing sugbon si be ni iru akoko be nigbati awon ta n dide ogun si won 
Oni wan gbodo pa ara won mo kuro ninu buburu gbogbo He said in us that there are times to have persecution O so fun pe igba mi na yo de ti awon ninu ni bi ni The time of persecution is not for you to say because I'm being persecuted I can tell a lie to preserve myself from persecution Time of trouble will still be time of holiness Akoko inu ni bi ni ti o dide si o ki si akoko ti o wi pe kin ba le gba ara mi la tabi kin le dabu ba ara mi mo le paro kekere akoko ogunje akoko iwa mi mo sibe that you have problem in your family and there is no child yet doesn't mean that at that time when i'm having all this difficulty i can go and worship idol time of trial is time for holiness pe oni wa la tabi isoro boya idaduro tabi iya gan ninu ebi re o ti wa pe tori eyi olorun kuku mo isoro mi je kin lo bori sha ku gbodo ri be akoko iyiriwo tabi idan wo gbodo je akoko iwa mi mo it may be there is a problem of poverty in your life o le je pe isoro aini tabi osi ni o dide si o even in that time when you are battling with poverty in your life that is not the time to go and steal time of poverty is still time for holiness aru iru akoko be ti o wa ni aya ja pelu osi tabi aini ti o nbe ninu aye re ki si akoko ti o lo jale akoko osi tabi aini ja akoko iwa mi mo sibe it may be the problem of a joblessness that is struggling against your life that is trying to drag you into the mode of poverty that doesn't mean because of that you'll go and give bribe time of joblessness is the time to keep away from every wicked thing o le je akoko aini se lowo ni ti o si je pe aini se lowo yi ti pe le mu ki o di abosi tabi talaka para kuto eleyi ko wa mu ke o wi pe o lo fun ni riba tabi owo eyin akoko ai ni se lowo je akoko ti a gbodo kuro ninu buburu gbogbo an enemy may come against your life and begin to abuse you and begin to curse you and begin to do juju against your life that is not an allowance for you to go to a wicked thing and to go and serve idol or to go and make charm against them the time when enemies are against you is still the time of holiness in your life awon ota le didi ogun si o ki o si ma fi ore ki o ma fi ogegun ki o ti le gbogun na ko loju koju ki o si mo ti won se ni iru akoko be o ko ni lati wi pe o ran ara re lowo fun ra re ki o si wa gba bule lo ki won pelu bere si lo sogun dudu akoko ti awon ota doju ogun ko gbodo je akoko iwa mi mo in verse 14 yes i can la the lord thy god walketh in the midst of thy camp nitori pe oluwa olorun re rin laarin ibudo re to deliver thee lati gba o and to give up thine enemies before thee ati lati fi awon ota re fun o at this time that verse 14 is talking about ni akoko ti ese kenin la so ni pare yi the children of israel will be in a camp for battle awon omo israel yi o ti wa ni ibudo fun ogun because enemies came against them nitori pe awon ota didi ogun si won and that's why god said he wanted to deliver them and deliver up and give up their enemies before them idi ni ti oluwa fi pe oyin yo gba won oyin yo si fi awon ota won le won lowo But read the last part of that verse. She work I it part you can in your second in life. Therefore shall thy camp be holy that is see no unclean thing in thee and turn away from thee. Nitori na ki ibudo re ki o je mimo ki o ma se ri ohun aimo kan lodo re ohun a si pada leyin re go to the children of israel that even when they were struggling against enemies and they were camping against enemies even then there was battle against their lives even in the midst of battle ye shall be holy olorun so fun awon omo israel wi pe nigbati awon ota ba po yi won ka ti won didi ogun si won ti won si nle pa won kikan kikan ti ogun na si lagbara gidigidi pe ni iru akoko be ti ota sun won ti mo ti mo ibudo won gbodo je mimo won gbodo wa ni iwa mimo at the time when the fire is burning in your family and there is no rest and there is no peace and there is no contentment and everything is upside down in that midst of battle ye shall be holy ni iru akoko be ti na na jo gidigidi ninu ebi re ti ko si isin mi ti ko si ipokan bale ti ko si alaafia ti gbogbo re je ilai lo ni iru akoko be o gbodo pa iwa mi momo it is at that time when the enemy is facing you it is at that time when the fire is burning it is at that time when persecution and trouble is pressurizing your life it is at that time you will be very careful angry word will not come out of your mouth a bitterness will not come in your heart a threat will not be in your heart you will be holy. in the midst of a camp of battle ni iru akoko be ti na inu ni bi ni tin jo gidigidi ti isoro ati wahala ti o le pon dide si o ni iru akoko be ti o ni wahala ti o po re koja ninu aye re ni iru akoko be ti o ta sumo ti o si hanle ti o nderu bo ni iru akoko be iwa mi mo gbodo je akole kan re o say woman you have made restitution and now you are not with a particular man you are not with a man and the battle is fighting in your body and there is no money to pay house rent and there is no money to eat and there is no money to do anything in that that midst of battle 
when your body, your flesh is crying against you, and when neighbors are even making fun of you, and when there is no money in your purse, when everything is upside down, in that camp of tribulation, in that camp of battle, in that camp of difficulty, ye shall be holy unto the Lord. You will not surrender your body for immorality just because there is no money. Just because your body is demanding for immorality, ye shall be holy at that time of trouble. Maybe you have married and there is no child. But as the in-laws are coming, and as these in-laws are coming, they are abusing you. They are saying, well, you don't, your body is not complete. They say it's not that. And after all, you are going to church. They say a lot of bad, bad things against you. You see that you are in the midst of battle. And you are battling with this barrenness in your life. And people are suggesting, why don't you go and worship idol? Why don't you go and do this? It is in that camp of battle. You will remember that you will be holy unto the Lord. It may be easy to live a holy life when God has answered all our prayers. There is no sickness, there is no problem, and we have job, and we have promotion, we have everything going, going all right with us. It may be easy to live a holy life at that time, but when there is trouble, when there is trial, when there's tribulation, when there are temptations, when enemies are just rising up against you, it's a such a difficult time. The Lord is calling upon you that you will not forget, ye shall be holy unto the Lord. For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver thee and to give up thine enemies before thee. Therefore shalt thy camp be holy that is see no unclean thing in thee and turn away from thee. As we talk about holiness, what kind of holiness are we talking about? Is it only the outward expression of righteousness? Or does it include the inward reality of purity? That leads us to point to inward and outward holiness. Psalm 24, reading from verses 3 and 4. Psalm 24, verses 3 and 4. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? You see the word of holy in that verse 3. The place where God is, is counted to be holy. The name of the Lord is holy. The word of the Lord is holy. The way of the Lord is holy. Everything about God is holy. And now, if you are going to get to the presence of God, what does the Lord require from you? Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Verse 4. He that has clean hands and a 
pure heart. Clean hands outwardly and pure heart inwardly. A hands that are clean will not hold idol to worship idol. Hands that are clean will not be lifted up to to beat or fight father and mother. Or what you ma ni akole igbe soke rara lati fi lu baba tabi ya iya ni. Hands that are clean will not hold and embrace somebody else's wife to commit adultery with her. Or what you ma kuni di aya elumira mu lati bashi panchaga. Hands that are clean will not hold somebody's daughter to commit fornication with her. Or what you ma kuni di ama biri elumira mu lati bashi agwiri. Hands that are clean will not hold tobacco or alcohol to defile yourself and destroy yourself with those things. Hands that are clean will not pick what belongs to other people, steal what belongs to other people. Hands that are clean will not take chemicals and swallow and then destroy the innocent baby. Hands Hands that are clean will not commit outward sin. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands. All these sins that people commit outwardly, if you really want to get to the holy hill of the Lord, you'll be free from them. Then it says, and it Pure heart. A pure heart that will not entertain evil thought, evil desire, evil plan, mischievous plan in the heart. Pure heart that will not allow or that will not entertain, that will not accommodate lost after women in the heart. A person that is of pure heart will not be pregnant with evil. Evil, wanting to commit evil, thinking of evil, planning evil, designing evil in the heart. And it's a pure heart will not accommodate covetousness in the heart. A pure heart will not accommodate hatred and bitterness in the heart. A pure heart will not accommodate or entertain malice in the heart. A pure heart will be like unto the mind of Christ. The Adamic nature is taken away. The tendency for evil is uprooted out of that place. The love of God is entrenched and embedded in such a heart. Desire to follow God, desire to obey God, desire to cherish the word of God is what is in the pure heart. It is the word of God, it is the will of God that saturates the heart that is pure. He that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. You may ask, is it possible for somebody to be completely holy outwardly and completely holy inwardly? In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10. Ye are witnesses and God also. How holily and justly and unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believe. Here is what Paul the Apostle said. That God gave him and other people the grace to be holy, to be just, 
to be unblameable. Paul had difficulty. Paul he had a thorn in the flesh. He prayed three times about it and God said, Leave it there. In the midst of that suffering, with the thorn in the flesh, Paul the Apostle said, God gave him grace to remain holy, just, unblameable. Paul saw trouble more than the uh, more than all the other apostles. Paul uriwa ala jugo gwa wa apostle ti okulo. He got into prison more than any of the other apostles. Oni o lo opolo ko igbe aye re ninu tubu ju awon apostle ti okulo. He had persecution more than all the other apostles. Oni o ni ninu ni bi ni ju gbo awon apostle ti okulo. Yet he said in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of the persecution, in the midst of the imprisonment, in the midst of the problems, God gave him grace to remain holy. Remain just, remain unblameable. Sibe, o wi pe laarin gbogbo isoro yi, laarin egun ti o wa ninu ara o, laarin wahala ti o ni, laarin ninu ni bi ni ati yiru ati idanwo, Olorun fun ni ori ofe lati wa ni mimo ni ododo ati ni ailego. Paul had some false brethren that made life difficult for him. They lied against him. They plant against him. They irritate. They would have irritated him, and they did a lot of things to make life inconvenient for him. They would even preach against him. But Paul the apostle said, in the midst of all that trouble, were the false brethren that went against his life. He said, God gave him grace to remain holy and just and unblameable. Paul, I want to talk about one thing. I want to talk about one thing. I want to talk about one thing. Ati idamu ati inira ni won mu wa sinu aye re ti o je pe won ti le wa su lodisi won ti le gbiyanju lati mu binu sugbon ko binu opolopo nkan ni won se lodisi sugbon sibe paul wi pe laarin awon eke ara kon yi pelu gbogbo idan wa ati yiri wa ati isoro ti o n dojuko latodo won olorun fun lo re ofe lati wa ni mimo iwa ni ododo ati ni ailego sometimes there will be people in a confederacy and conspiracy about 40 of them and they will make a vow that they must kill paul before they will take any meal and yet paul the apostle said with all those people in conspiracy with all the things they were planning against him he knew that the most important thing is holiness in all that bitterness and hatred of the people against the life of paul the apostle he said god gave him grace to remain holy just and unblameable ni akoko kan awon kan ti le wa ti won to bi ogoje ti won dimo lupo ti won si pinu wi pe awon ki yo je nko n be ni awon ki yo mu nko n titi ti awon yo fi pa paul ninu gbogbo hila ilo ati wahala ati isoro yi pelu idimo lupo awon ota won yi ti won pe ri eyin paul paul wi pe olorun ko ni ori ofe lati wa ni mimo iwa ni ododo ati ni ailego this one removes the excuse of many people and they say it is because my husband is not uh, behaving well to me that's why i'm not able to remain holy eyi ni o mu awa wi opolopo kuro ti won wi pe ah mo fe je mimo sugbon tori pe oko mi ko ti di oni gbagbo ni it is because some of our church members they they are false brethren and they fight against me and they do some things against me that's why i'm not able to live a holy life eh mo fe je mimo ah mo sha opo ni na won ara awa ni adugo wa ti won je omo njo ni won je ke arakunrin won si doju ko mi won ba mi je din ti nko fi le je mimo it is because i am sick and i've been praying that god will remove this thorn in my flesh god will remove this sickness from me and because of that sickness i didn't know when i lose i lost my holiness ni tori pe mo ti le nsa isan gan ni mo ri pe o fa isoro yi ti mo fi pada ni wa mi mo nigba ti mo nsa isan ti o si je pe mo ti le sumo enu ona ku nko mo nkan ti mo le se mo nko mo gba ti mo so iwa mi mo ti mo ninu it's because of hunger and nakedness when i didn't have enough money to even buy the basic things i needed for my life that's why i lost holiness on ti o mu ke mi ti le so iwa mi mo temi ninu ni pe ebi ti pa miju be pelu ko si owo lati raso awon awon ti mo ni lo I began to grumble. I began to complain. I began to even say some things against people and against God. When I saw that there was too much persecution in my life and nobody came to comfort me and visit me. I began to all the apostles said through it all and in it all God gave him the grace to remain holy, just and unblameable look at that verse 10 again 
They can't wear second while you let us see. Ye are witnesses. Only a ye near Larry. Oh, he said, You can see the outward behavior. You can see the outward holiness. You have eyes to see. We have lived among you. And he said, You are witnesses to the outward holiness. Only a new Jew, Latiriro, Latiritu, Ontio, Diara, Eleri, Ibia Yewa, Eleri, Wati Shewa, Eleri, and Boko Jacque, on Jayani Wayewa, you are Memo, at your Dodo, at your Wilegawa. And then he said, To the inward holiness. God is witness also. That our heart is pure. God is witness also. Oh, 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 that double witness that we've got the holiness God is looking for. When people can be witnesses to the outward holiness and God Almighty can be witness to the inward holiness, that's the, when, that's the time we have got the holiness that will take us to heaven. How important is this holiness? How essential is this holiness? That leads us to the third point requirement for entry into heaven. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Peace with all men. That difficult husband. Peace with all men. The wife that will not allow you to say A before she says B, C, and D, I will begin to make trouble. Follow peace with all people. Aya re ti o je pe ki o to so eyo kan o ti so mewa o ni ma le pa alaafia pelu eniyan gogo with those incorrigible members in your district that will make life difficult and make leadership difficult you want to get to heaven follow peace with all men pelu gogo awon won ni ni ekun re ti o je pe bi o tin to won sona to o dabi pe won ko ko bi ara si ito ni those people in the place of work that will brag and swear that you will never get promotion in that place and never anything you do everything is always bad they will complain they will slash you they will criticize you they will tear you to pieces they will blackmail you they are for fight they are for struggling every time do you remember you want to get to heaven follow peace with all men ti ejo n sise papo ni bi ise kan na ti won si ti ha le mo ti won si ti fi yo daju daju pe ni won gba ti awon ba nbe ni bi ise yi ki o gbagbe ni pa igbega won si ma foro ba o je won le ma ko we lodi si o won o ma ba oja ni ona kan tabi ona mi na won doju ko lo joju mo olorun wa wi pe ti o ba fe di orun ma le pa alaafia pelu eniyan gbogbo do sin laws that come into the family every time they come trouble will start and yet you want to get to heaven you know that this is the one single thing the devil is trying to take away from you Follow peace with all men. Belu gogo a wun anan re wun ni. Ti wun wun asin webi re. Ti wun basi ti deba yi i jogon. A ti wala yo shele. O si wa wipe. Belu gogo wala ti da mun ti onri yi. Yo ba jek o fe di onu ni to to. Abu ye kansyonan ni pe. Ma le pa la fi a kwe lue ni a gogo. With those people that are selling near your stall in the market. And every time it's complained. They will say you didn't sweep. You didn't bring the money to a worship idol. You didn't do every time it's trouble. If you want to sell. They will be getting your customers and say. Don't buy from him. What he's selling is not good. And they will be shouting at you. Saying all sorts of evil things against you. And therefore you are not able to sell well. And you, are, you cannot fight if you want to get to heaven. Follow peace with all men. I want to hear your mum. Ilo isho, tabi le taja tiara ni oja. Just si jekwe nikba gogo. Mum anwe susi olese. Mum lezakunye oh bale. Eh oh mumu tiwa wota fe filo boy aloja. 
Just a Nipa Bobo, Wala, Ati, Edia, Yedia, Tio, Koyan, Tosima Pesuko, I want you to Lembo, Raja Unibara, and Woma Kuka, Emma Losa Dore, or Jatio Dalunta, Tos Diboni Bara, the Tatio Kosita, Beauty, Oni, the Babedion, Lani, Ila, Lati Wala, Ma Lipa, Lafia, in the community, in the house where you are, it is every time that that particular woman will ill treat your child, will knock your child on the head, and if you talk, he will leave the child and begin to want to fight you. And you say, What kind? of thing is this and you do not have money to go and rent another accommodation all the time it is trouble in that community and yet you cannot have hatred in your heart if you want to get to heaven you cannot have bitterness against them in your heart if you want to get to heaven you cannot refuse to greet them in the morning if you want to get to heaven follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Do you understand that verse of scripture? That a person may have the gifts of the Holy Spirit and healing ministry. If he doesn't have holiness to add to what he has got, that healing ministry will not get him to heaven. Do you understand that a person can have talent, a person can have position, a person can have privilege, a person can be invited here and there in this city, in this nation, because the CEO has a speaking ability. That man can preach without holiness, he cannot see God. A person can be praised and appreciated everywhere and ah that man is a good man. That woman ah she is a good woman. And everybody can be speaking well of you if internally, deep deep within you, in the secret, behind the curtain, behind the door. When people are not there, this holiness that God is requiring, if it is not in your life, whatever else you have, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Satan doesn't worry about your being popular. He only gets worried that you will get to heaven. Satani kubikita ne pa ko je eni ti gba ojumo tabi eni ti gbogbo eniyan mo sugbon ti o kan gbogbo ju ni pe ki o gba iwa mi mo kuro lowo ore e kan allow you to be popular once you can take heaven away from your hand o le gba olaaye lati je eni ti o gba ojumo ti o ba ti le lu eyi lati gba iwa mi mo kuro lowo ore e kan allow you to get into politics and everybody will vote for you on opposed so far he can take heaven away from you o le gba olaaye ki gbogbo ilu feran re ki won si dibo fun ki o ma ti le ni alatako kankan bi o ba he can allow you to have all the money you want to have. If he can take holiness and heaven away from you, that's all his desire. He can allow you to have all the children you want to have and just be giving back to children every time. If he can take holiness and heaven away from you, he's taking the greatest thing away from you. And when a person has lost heaven, he has lost everything that is most important. When a person has lost all that street of gold, when a person has lost a fellowship with Almighty God, when a person has lost fellowship with Jesus, fellowship with God, when a person has lost the beauty that will continue in a million years, a billion years, and billions and millions of years, when a 
person loses that joy, eternal joy, he has lost everything that is significant. The devil knows that in heaven there will be no sickness. In heaven there will be no curse. In heaven there will be no pain. In heaven there will be no hunger. In heaven there will be no trial or tribulation. In heaven there will be no temptation. In heaven there will be no enemy that will seek after your life. It will be joy and singing all throughout eternity. And whatever it will take a man or a woman to get to that place, I believe a reasonable man or woman will say, Oh Lord, help me, I want to get there on that day. Because the devil that is why it is the most important thing in our lives to have holiness in our heart, holiness in our life, holiness in our speech, holiness in our action, holiness in our decision, holiness day and night, holiness in the private and the public. It is not just about the look, look, what that is. It was money in our hand, it was money in our hand, it was money in our hand, it was money in our bank account, it was money in the bank. At any point, we don't know when the trumpet shall sound. I come back to you. The Lord Jesus told the disciples, "He said, 'I am coming back.'" And he told us when you begin to see all these things happen, you know the end is very near. And if there is anything you should be looking for now, you should be looking for the coming of the Lord up in the sky. And yet you need to follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. There is no time to be careless. There is no time to be angry. There is no time to fight. There is no time to have evil. There is no time to accommodate evil in your heart. There is no time to go back into the world. There is no time to worship idols. There is no time to be covetous. There is no time to run after the things the worldly people are running after. There is no time to be fighting other people and saying I want to get what he has got. Because without holiness no man shall see the Lord. I want to see the Lord. That's why we're here today. That's why we left all those things in the world and we said Lord count me among the number I want to make it. But the devil is still fighting. And your flesh is still rebelling. Thieves in the world are still focusing all attention on you. I want to yes in Tejuma was if I call it a lot of Christy. They want to drag you back. What if I call that? Take you from Jesus. What if I call it a lot of Jesus? Take you from God. What if I call it a lot of Lord? Take you from heaven. What if I call it a lot of Lord? Hunger is trying to take you away. A beef I call it a lot. Persecution is there. You need to be new one. Trouble is there. Wala one. Enemies are there. I want to be new. In laws are there. I want no one. Co-workers are there. I want to join you. Messengers of Satan. I want to share Satan. They want to vow with Satan that you will not get to heaven. What if I call it a lot of Lord? And what are you? What is your own decision? Follow peace with all men. And holiness. And holiness. And holiness. Let's rise up and pray.